At the latest UN Security Council meeting on Ukraine, the verbal duels continued over the eastern Ukraine conflict, with Ukraine and the United States condemning Russia for not having withdrawn heavy weaponry from the region. The facts on the ground, which are really all that matter and all anyone in this chamber cares about, show Russian aggression, Russia having lopped off part of someone else's country and tried to keep it. Uh, and the only way that we have a chance of getting to peace in Minsk is if Russia leaves Ukraine and takes its heavy weapons with it. Ukraine and Western governments have accused Russia of sending troops and weapons to support insurgents in East Ukraine, something Russia denies. Looking to put pressure on Moscow, the US and EU have imposed an array of sanctions over the past year that have damaged the Russian economy, further straining relations between Moscow and the West. A year ago, Russia became a blind painter who decided to recolor the international landscape according to its own taste. This is why a series of black marks have appeared on the Charter of the United Nations. This black paint was supplied by the hand of Russia. Russia, meanwhile, criticized a possible U.S. plan to train Ukrainian National Guard troops. The plan, according to U.S. officials, is currently on hold, pending implementation of a ceasefire deal between government troops and Russian-backed militants. According to the data we have these days, some 300 military personnel from the United States have arrived and they will train Ukrainian soldiers in the use of foreign equipment. Everyone knows wherever American military appear, expect bad things to happen. A truce was agreed to last month between Ukraine and Russian-backed insurgents, but both sides accuse each other of violations. As part of the plan, the two sides are also tasked with withdrawing heavy weaponry. The conflict, now almost a year old, has claimed some 6,000 lives, according to UN figures.